Hi, everybody. This is Patty Davis, and I'm with Crooked Tree Creations. Oh, goodness. How are you today? <laughs> I'm just having a heck of a time getting started here. Um, uh, yeah, I wanted to be on at 11 o'clock. Yeah, it's almost 1130. But I just wanted to show you uh, something that I made yesterday. I made it during my Facebook Live. Well, hello there. But so I made this yesterday. Um, I'm going to grab it real quick. This is a cross wreath that I made. Um, this is just using your typical like sunflower kind of daisy petal. Um, and I, it turned out really, really nice. But I wanted to try something a little bit different this time. I wanted to use a completely different petal because uh, I kind of wanted a smaller petal this time. So um, these are, it's called a Star Trek petal. And well, thank you. Um, as a you know, it's a little bit smaller. It's a lot thicker. So I'm going to try it. We'll see um, how it works. I really don't know. Fingers crossed it does work. So, and let me show you where I'm, you know, like what I'm starting with. Okay. I already made a bunch of these petals. Hopefully I don't run out. Hopefully it was enough, but that's part of why I'm a little late, but I'm going to switch over to my overhead so you can see what's going on here okay i have this cross wreath i got it from dollar tree um let me cut the tag off and what i'm going to do um i watched other people's youtubes on how they make the cross wreath um but i'm doing mine just a tad bit different i can't do anything the exact same so if you know me, I never do anything the same as anybody else. So this is um, about 22 inches long where the cross is 24. But this actually works out perfect because right here, this is where like the cross, the wire kind of, you can see where it like bend, starts to bend. So that plastic canvas is going to go right where it starts to bend on either end so it kind of works out great so all i want to do this is actually it's a five mesh plastic canvas so on the fifth uh hole here that's one inch so that's i'm going to cut right along there and that will fit right up through that middle part right there on the cross. So it fits absolutely perfect. Okay. Just take four inch zip ties and tie it on. This is something else that I would have liked to have had done before I got on here with you. Um, however, of course, I was running late. So... But I'm going to use these crossbars in the middle of this cross wreath to get this on here. And of course, and I'm just using four inch zip ties. And if I can get that to go up through, that would be wonderful. Okay. Yeah, and just, just use that little crossbar going across here to which has attach. And you really don't need to attach anywhere else except for the ends just to kind of keep them a little stable. And I'll do this one up here. Just, you know, this is all like a, a lot of the preparation ahead of time. But it's always good to know how to do it. 
but I'm going to attach the top and the bottom just in one little spot because guess what? What we're going to be doing, we're going to be attaching things like using these bars here. So we're, you know, it's not going to slip anyways. So, but just to get it in the first place, get it kind of secured. So we're good there. Yeah. Now, if you've done any uh, sunflower wreaths or anything like that, where you've used this plastic canvas, you probably have scraps. I have tons of scraps. So I'm going to use some scrap here and just get that kind of um, measured out here. One, two, three, four, five. I think I'm on the fifth one over. And let's see, we just went to go about here. The same thing with this for the other side, but it's going to be the same, same length. So we've got two pieces here. And what I'll do is kind of attach them right here. Kind of go in right there with that that bar there, and kind of get that attached there, and the same thing, kind of right here towards the end. If I can get this up through there, come on. I know this is a little on the boring side, all the the prep, but it's something, you know, good to learn, right? If, see, I'm trying to rush, so I'm not getting this. I keep fumbling. And one more there at the end. And that's all we need to do to prep the actual form itself. Okay. So there you go. So that's why I love saving my scrap plastic canvas or pretty much anything because you find a way to use it at some point. So there we are with this. Okay. So now I'm going to show you these petals and how I made them. Okay. First of all, I cut a 10 by 10. Well, it's a 10 inch mesh that I cut into 10 inch pieces. Okay. And so I, you know, I'm going to make some petals with just this white poly burlap. And then I made some where I fused the two together. Um, I used, this is like a lilac along with this poly burlap and how I fused it together. I don't have this plugged in, but I just used a wood burning tool and just, well, I'll show you, you have to have, make sure you have like a glass cutting board or um, just anything that can take the heat, but just kind of put the deco mesh over top of the poly burlap. And when you cut it, I always try to stay within the lines of the poly burlap, but when you cut it, the two actually fuse together and 
you can see here, like they're fused together right here. And it, very cool. I learned that technique from uh, Julie's Reef Boutique. But let me show you how to make the petal. Okay. What I like about these petals is there's no fraying. So I think that's awesome. But you make this little triangle. Okay. Bring it over this way. And I believe the reason it's called Star Trek is because this kind of has that little concave right there. I think that's why. I'm not sure. But from this point, just kind of scrunch it up. I keep this hand there just to kind of, so it looks, it stays a little flatter that way. Okay. Right here, I'm just going to use a six inch zip tie because sometimes I feel like eight inches is a little too long and the four inches is just too short. Now I'm going to do this with this also because I'm going to need this one. I think it's very possible. You know what? I'm not going to bore you with that. If I need it, I'll use it and there you go. Okay. So I cut off the tip of the zip tie and then you have to cut these and it's best to use kind of do them at separate times like that just because <coughs> excuse me uh it's it's a lot to cut through if you have super super good scissors then yeah go ahead and you, you can cut through it all but especially whenever you have the two meshes that are fused together that's really hard to cut through <coughs> excuse me i need a little drink of water excuse me okay so now we're going to try to attach all of this and what i'm going to do i'm going to start at the bottom here and i'm going to do my white and again this is the first time i'm trying it with this particular type of petal so i don't know if it's you know what's going to work what's not going to work <coughs> i'm just going to try it so this may turn out to be a what not to do type of <laughs> tutorial. So I am getting out my eight inch zip ties because I think that will make it a little bit easier uh, to get it attached to this. Now I want to make sure that we are covering the sides and definitely yeah, the bottom of this. So I think right about here should be good to start. I'm going to go ahead and put the zip tie through one of these holes. And I think the main reason I wanted to use this plastic canvas is I didn't want the zip ties sliding up and down this form. Um, when I've seen other people make these wreaths on, yeah, I've watched YouTube and watched other people make them and they did not put any uh, of this plastic canvas down. And I just kept thinking, well, how in the world are you not, you know, it, it's going to slide. So um, I don't know if it would slide for them or not, but I just thought, I'm going to be a little extra cautious and make sure it doesn't slide. And I'm going to put that plastic canvas down. So what I like to do, I like to start, I start my zip tie. That way I could just slide the pedal in, tighten it up and we're good. So, yeah, I think this is going to work out. I think actually I may have too many 
petals made, which is actually a good thing because I was afraid I wasn't going to have enough. So. But, and then I'm going to go right here in the middle through that plastic canvas and put one right there in the center. Now I'm going to do some one more row of this white and I'm going to go up. Uh, you know what I'm going to, let's see, like where I put these zip ties in, I'm going to go, uh, let's try not quite two inches up. Because I want to, again, I want to make sure that if I went too far up, I'd be afraid that you can see some of that, um, the, uh, the form itself. And I don't want that to be seen. So, get that out of the way. I'm not going to be using those four inch zip ties anymore. And so let's just kind of make sure we got these enough to the side here and then have the one in the middle. And I think I'm going to go up a little bit now from here those two but that one at the very bottom I kind of wanted all three of these to be kind of even together but from here on I think we'll go like and do the two and then have one in the middle like another inch up Okay, so there's my white. I have six of the white. Now I'm going to go to this lavender and try putting that way. This is going to be kind of an ombre, kind of like the one that I did yesterday on my Facebook live. I did an, it was an ombre, but using a completely different petal. So we'll try this. And I am going to download that to my YouTube so that everybody can see how I did that. And as soon as I do get it downloaded, I will uh, post the link in the description or wherever. Okay. So we got those to either side and then we'll do one in the middle. And I'm going to go up just about an inch, kind of almost like where these stop. And it's kind of nice using a petal like this because, like I said, it's supposed to not fray. I mean, because there's no edge to it. So that definitely would keep the fraying down, right? Okay. And then I'm going to do another one. I'm going to go up just a little bit further. Because I actually am afraid that I'm not going to have quite enough petals made. So 
So if we space them far enough apart, as long as we don't see any of the form, I think we'll be good. So And one more in the middle. And what I like to do, I like to go in one hole, skip one hole and come out the other side. Kind of makes it a little a little more secure. Okay. okay, so now I'm gonna go to this that is more of a darker purple, but it's still with the white poly burlap behind it. And again, this is one of my first time making one of these this way. So, and in fact, I haven't seen anybody yet make a cross wreath using this style of petal. So I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different, something nobody else has been doing. There might be a reason nobody else has done it <laughs> this way. So, We'll find out. But I think doing this ombre technique really is, uh, is beautiful. And two more. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have quite enough petals for this down here. I'm probably going to have to make a little bit, just a few more of these darker purple just to kind of get it up to the center where I want it to be. center okay Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start doing the sides and the top here. And I'm going to start just about a little, make sure that we're good here. Yeah. So that's probably about two inches up from the edge of the side there. Again, that's going to go kind of lean over more towards the side. I 
And you can be a little more particular um, with this type of petal here. You can kind of see how, see how like this side is a little bit, yeah, you know, it's the double where it was open. Okay. You can be a little more particular to see if you want that to be on the outside, inside, things like that. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I think I'm just going to kind of go with it and see kind of, you know, what we want to do with this. So um, I think, again, I'm going to try to make this a little bit closer here. I apologize if my head's getting in the way. Because I kind of want to be able to see where I'm putting this. But, okay, so, and then we're going to go with the lavender. Which I think, well, yeah, we'll have enough of the purple if I do it this way. I'm going to do two of the lavender here over on this side. There we go. And then, and then I just need one purple. That's going to work out really good. Okay. So kind of right. Kind of like where this crossbar is coming down. I'm not going to call it on that form. And I know I have that little nub of the... Um, zip tie right there but this is going to go right over top of that and it will be just fine okay so i'm going to switch it around this way so i can work on this side and i'm going to do the same thing three white two lavender one purple And the reason I'm starting, yeah, I'm not going all the way to the end because that will make that just a little bit too long. So let's see. Let's cover up the sides here. And that was my biggest concern, too. I was wanting to make sure that the uh, sides of the form are definitely covered, and they definitely are, thank goodness. Okay. Yeah, I was kind of rushed to get on here. I've didn't even get my wedding rings on. So I was trying to get my, uh, get these petals done first. And yeah, I was just a little rushed. Which it seems like every single Sunday whenever I go live here, I'm always rushed. You would think I would learn to start a little earlier. 
Okay. So there we go. And then we'll do the two lavender. Again, I'm just going up just up from the end of this. Just go right through that plastic canvas and around the form. And then one of the purple right here. Now for this top one. I got just enough of the white. So that works out great. My stomach's growling because I haven't had anything to eat yet today. Even though I was up at 6.30 this morning, I didn't eat. I had coffee and that was it. to the lavender this I call it lavender but it's I actually bought this I will say several years ago and uh, it's like a lavender and a like a blue mix and I just thought that was absolutely beautiful I had a half a roll left I couldn't tell you what I made with with the first half of the roll. But I thought, you know what? I want to get it used up. And what better time to use it than right now with this wreath? Because I think it's a, just absolutely beautiful, the, the lavender and the blue mixed. And I don't recall seeing anything similar to it anymore or else I'd buy more because I think it's beautiful, those colors together. It's almost like a periwinkle, which was my favorite color growing up. Okay, I'm gonna do two more of the dark purple right here. Number one, it'll help hide the form. Yeah, you know what? I am going to need to kind of hide this form a little bit more because that's not doing the trick. So I'm 
do one on either side right here. And actually, that kind of helps the sides, these here, which I am, I'm going to show you. I'm going to put some lilies in here, and I'll show you how I'm doing that, but which will help kind of hide that form right here in the center. But I'm going to go ahead and put two more here. really like this ombre look. Yeah, this is kind of really tight. Kind of right here. And that center. We definitely needed to get these in there just to help hide that form. Again, just with them being a smaller petal than like your daisy petal, we definitely hide, you know, need more of these petals to hide the form. But isn't that beautiful already? That really, really is nice. I will say though, for this style of petal, I probably would not do this again where I um, fused the two together. Just because they were definitely a lot more difficult to, um, to form the petals themselves. But I'm going to use these lilies that I got from Michael's. I got these last year. So I'm going to cut these. We want some of that green, those green leaves. Get that price tag off of here. I'm going to use these and I'm going to use some of these nice beautiful greenery Okay, so do I think this is going to be too, too much? Nah, I think that'll be fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this 8-inch zip tie. I'm going to kind of get it down through where I can find room, right? Kind of back up through. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, and of course I put it in the wrong way. 
Of course, right? When you're live. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to kind of get this started again. What I'm going to do, kind of, I'm going to kind of crisscross these. Kind of like so. And same thing up here. Kind of make sure they're a little bit, you know, you want to, you want them kind of even ish. Okay. And then I'm going to stick these. I I'd like to use five. I might go ahead and use all six. I think I used all six yesterday in the other wreath that I made. Just kind of stick them through here. Oh, and that reminds me, I better, what I want to do, I want to, I'm going to be using my glue gun. So I better plug that in. Yeah, I didn't have that plugged in earlier because I figured I'd be taking entirely too much time. Okay, so we got four of these in. Let's try just doing a fifth one, like right there in the center. Okay, now I'm going to take that zip tie and just kind of tighten it up. That way they're kind of kind of secure but I want to make them even more secure with the hot glue. But I'm kind of, I'm liking where this is going so far. So, and for this, I'm going to kind of stick this up through the middle. So I'm going to cut this in two separate pieces. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of glue that in so it's coming up through. And then I also have what I used yesterday. I'll probably use that again today is this, um, these forget me knots and just kind of have some of that purple coming through in with these. So I'll get these, start cutting these also. I love these forget-me-nots. I think just think they're absolutely beautiful. Beautiful small flower. I use these a lot in my spring wreaths. So they're just, in my opinion, like a great filler flower. I better put a piece of cardboard down just in case this drips. We don't want it dripping on my table. I'm going to go ahead and use this going through here. And again, I'm going to put this kind of through here too. And I want to put this glue down where it's, where I secured it already. Uh, let me get another glue stick, just ran out. Kind of double secure it. We had it zip tied down, now we just kind of want to glue it down too. Make sure they're, they're in there really good. Because it's very, you know, the way I see it, these will most likely 
be put on uh you know somebody's uh grave site so they'll need to withstand the weather so you definitely want to make sure these are glued in really really good This is still just a little bit too long. We just want a little bit of that purple kind of blending in with the white just to kind of, so it marries together really well. Kind of ties the whole purple and white theme get it tied together beautifully and you know what I think I think this is enough I may use some of this other greenery I think I believe these are called baby tears they're very tiny um, super tiny leaves. But kind of want to probably get a couple of these through here too. But you know what? I don't think it really needs it. Nope, I'm not going to do it. I think this is, I think we're done. So I'm going to switch you back over to this side. Okay. So there's me. Hi, <laughs> and this is our finished product. I think, I think we we're done. And you can see that the ombre, how it's white, lavender, and then we purple, just kind of. I think it looks gorgeous. And from the back, it's not too bad. If you want, if it's going to go up against a door, you might want to put felt down. Um, I personally don't think it needs it. If it's going to be in a cemetery, the felt would probably be a bad idea because it's going to be in the weather. It's going to be rained on and stuff like that. And so I, I wouldn't put any felt on the back. But, and you don't even need a hanger because it'll just hang right there at the top of this form. So, so we're good. There you go. I'm so glad you came and joined me. We, uh, I just, I'm glad that I tried something different. And, you know, again, with these, um, with these petals, it's a smaller petal. So you kind of want to make sure where you have them positioned that you don't have, you know, the, the sides show, which they're not showing. So that's wonderful. And you don't want to see the zip ties on, you know, you're one, trying to hide the zip ties from the one that it's on top of. Okay. And, you know, the zip ties are, are hidden pretty well. Um, I think we're good. So Thank you so much for joining me. Again, my name is Patty Davis. My name, uh, my business name is Crooked Tree Creations. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel and click the little notification button so whenever I do go live or whenever I do download another video, you'll be notified. And hopefully, well, you know, you can uh, learn a lot from what I have here to teach you. So. You have a great day and I will see you later. Bye.